everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're tuning in if it is i hope you do like this video like comment and subscribe okay um so now just to get into this video um i think for most of my regulars or the people that already subscribed you know that i haven't actually been posting at all i think for the past two i think it's april now so for the past two three months and i think I just wanted to tell you guys why and kind of do like a live update kind of video so that you guys just know where I'm at, know why things happened the way they did and yeah, just to gain a better understanding really. Um, so now just to kick it off, um, in the beginning of the year, I shot two videos about how to get through varsity, how to get through tough times. But now it was like, I kind of preempted how things were going to go for me because I've been at varsity since February and it has been the utmost. And I say that because I'm doing my honors degree in Bachelor of Accounting Sciences this year. And I think the workload was just actually too much to handle at that stage. So um, in my course, you can have, you have two options. You can either do your CTA, which is your Certificate of Theory in Accounting. I think that's what it stands for. And then you just get your postgraduate diploma. Or you can do that, but then also get your honors degree. This is by choosing a model. Um, you choose a module in one of the four modules that we have and then you do honors in that you conduct research in that and then so apart from the work that everyone else is doing you also have an extra module and then you write a thesis and then you get your honors degree so i decided um because i actually managed to get into honors i want to do it and it has been the hardest thing i've ever had to do like i look at how these past two three months have been and i compare it to the whole of last year and last year i was already complaining that you know things are tough but then this year was just you haven't seen anything yet and um i spoke about how to deal with failure and i think i spoke about it from a place where i hadn't actually experienced it like it was so much easier to say things and do th say things but they were not what i was doing so now because i was focused on my honors classes so i had classes every week once a week um it's like two and a half hours and then there were weekly assignments that I also had to do. So now, obviously that took time away from, you know, the CTA thing that every, like, normal classes, the normal four modules that everyone else is doing. And it actually hindered my marks. And I guess I kind of made a calculated sacrifice. But now my classes are done and I'm seeing, oh no, I don't actually know what I'm doing. And now I have to go play catch up and... When I say I finally experienced failure, I mean like I actually got 36%. I actually got 26. I think this one was 26. And then there was another one that was actually 20%. Um, like I don't, I don't know how. Like when these things kind of happen to you, it's just like I looked at my student number and I couldn't believe that that was me. And I guess for me, it was hard to deal with all of that on top of trying to figure out some kind of academic writing skills that we've never actually developed in our course. And as much as I wanted the challenge, I wasn't prepared for the challenge. And I've just been seeing planes left, right and center. And now that it's the second block of the first semester, so the second half, I guess I've kind of changed my outlook on things because I realized that at this stage I could actually be failing. And when you go through, I feel like once you actually realize that you could actually fail, you could actually fail the year. Eh. Sorry guys, it's actually like a basketball match here, yeah, okay? That's just a side note, so that's where this noise is coming from. Um, so once you actually go through that, it kind of puts things into perspective, like, are you just going to throw away another year of your life because the things are just too hard? And I think there's something that we learn in class, it's called the learning curve. So obviously in the beginning, things are rocky, things are hard, things take longer to do. But I think as time goes by, you will be able to, you know, pick yourself up, get things done either more quickly, understand better. So I'm just hoping that with this kind of mentality that I'll be able to move forward and pass, hopefully, not hopefully, I will pass actually. And then, um, you know, I'm honestly just gonna try your best because at the end of the day, the best is like the only thing you can do. So I've obviously been trying to deal with that, those feelings of like failing and trying to get through this tough phase. Like it's honestly been the hardest three months of my life academically. And I guess I was lucky that in the fact that you know, emotionally, physically, nothing else was going on. So then I can actually have dealt to this in like, kind of in isolation. But now as I move forward, obviously things aren't always going to be like that. But for the next, um, we're in April, so the next eight months, 
my mantra is just going to be, you know, I need to keep it moving. And that direction is always forward. Um, so now, apart from that, I was also, I actually graduated and I planned on vlogging my graduation. But then I vlogged everything, like prep, prep, the preparation of it. And then I think I have like one small video of the actual day. But then it, the footage wasn't enough because I, get, I, got, I guess I got caught up in the hype. Like it's honestly the most amazing feeling to stand on that stage and then they say Valencia Hewlett and then you realize oh my gosh I actually have an entire degree to my name like it's not just a matric certificate or high school certificate I have an, a degree and now for me it just motivated me to kind of get my second degree and just put in and just push for the next six months to just get it done like I, I can't I can't imagine doing this again and I don't plan on doing it again and I guess nobody really plans on repeating a year but just that I think it was like three seconds of fame across the stage and I was like oh my word I'm so excited and if you guys want to see my pictures I did put them up on my Instagram and Twitter accounts um so just search my for my name Valencia Hewlett if you do want to see what I was wearing I was wearing my um Ghanaian attire and you know the curly hair was out it was honestly such an amazing feeling even though it was three seconds of fame i don't remember much um yeah so that's actually just where i have been and um i guess having to deal with all these kind of emotions and external pressures from you know other people but for, for example doing the diploma they don't exactly have to do this whole thing of doing research writing an assignment every week but i kind of felt some kind of pressure because they're working but like I'm not working on the same thing and now in that kind of situation it was literally thinking of girl just focus on yourself you can do this own race own pace and that's literally just be the only thing that's been getting me through and I do promise I do hope to post more videos um if you guys want more videos like this please do leave me a comment but this is just where I have been um I've definitely been trying to you know I'd, at least make the most of this experience because this is my last year as a full-time student and I'm never going to have these opportunities again. So if you have the opportunity to go out, do go out. I know in those first six weeks of classes, I didn't, I didn't go out at all because I was just too stressed. But now I can see myself, I'm working hard or working smarter. And then I'm definitely also taking the time out because I burned out, I think it was in the second week. And then also just kind of like an emotional breakdown because it's just a lot of feelings. Um, but yeah, I do hope. Well, I do plan on this next vlog going better, passing, just kind of keep this positive vibes and, you know, keep it moving. And that direction is only forward. And um, take time out when you need it. And I don't say take time out, like take a whole day off, but like reward yourself. So now um, if I work, then I can reward myself somehow. And that kind of motivates you to get the work done and obviously get it done properly so that you never have to go back to it. Um... So yeah, that's just where I've been. I haven't been able to be, a, to be a cheerleader. I've been, the classes were at the same time during our matches, so there were no performances for me, unfortunately. And even gymming has been a bit shaky. But I've been trying to be consistent because, you know, gym is life. Um, I do plan on posting like a fitness vlog one day. And then, um, yeah, so if you guys have any requests for videos, please do leave a comment. Um, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. And also just tell people, trying to spread the word about the channel. Keep motivating each other and guys I believe that if we put our minds to something we can we can achieve so in my journey to achieve my second degree I hope it can also inspire you and you can see that it is doable in whatever time span as long as you work hard and work consistently even if you do end up repeating like for me I had to learn the hard way I've gone through those papers that I failed I've gone and learned why I got it wrong how I was supposed to think about things this is so amazing the cars are gone how hard to think about things and essentially hard to move forward given the fact that this has happened um so yeah guys please do like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video okay bye bye